I mean, how about Cassiopeia is just OP? She's been OP for a long time, even before Conqueror. In all honesty, here's my opinion. Take Cassiopeia's passive away entirely. Move this E effect over to her passive. Go from there. Cash, you gotta realize that most of the ranged top laners are in a losing lane against champs such as Aurelia? No. Kled? No. Trindamir? No. Kled's counterplay is to dodge his E or his Q. Either one of them dodged and he loses the trade and basically dies. Now, ask yourself a question. Who is it easier to dodge Kled's E and Q on? A melee champion? or a range champion. It's already easy for me to beat Kled on Aatrox, dude. You guys actually wanna know the counter to Kled? I'm gonna tell you guys a secret counter to Kled. No one knows this. Kled's Q, when he's mounted, has a cast time. Not a huge one, but a cast time. That makes it very easy to dodge. Kled can EQ in, but if you just sit at mid lane and, and wait, you'll dodge it every time. If Kled tries to chuck his Q first, dodge it, then all in him. The only time a ranged champion loses to Kled is when he hits both E and Q, and really, at that point, it's your fault. Especially considering most ranged champions can chase him down and kill him after that. The problem with MR itemization. There's really only two items in the game that you can build that give MR and don't fuck you over for going. Wit's End and Spirit Visage. Both of them suck early game, and there's not a single MR option for the early game that you can build that doesn't dick over your mid game. That's why I keep suggesting Riot needs to push Spectre's Cowl to 40 MR, which, by the way, would be the same MR as a Negatron Cloak. Push Spectre's Cowl to 40 MR, you can even drop it down to like 150 HP. Go from there. Then I think they should also delink its passive from health regen. Instead of 150% health regen over 5 seconds, or sorry, 10 seconds, why not reduce it to 5 seconds and then make it like restore 20 HP over 5 seconds or something like that. I don't know. God, you can really tell how unbelievably shit Spectre's Cowl is when you actually run the numbers in your head. That means even a champion like Darius, right? Who's got massive health regen. Like, let's look at his level 6 health regen. 13.75. And that's way above average. So even at 13.75, that means Spectre's Cowl is only healing at level 6 about 40 HP over 10 seconds. Negatron is fine. You can go Negatron. It's actually cheaper than Thornmail. But the problem is, what can you do with Negatron? You can only go Wit's End. Many, 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 most bruisers can't go Wit's End. The other option is Spirit Visage Adaptive. But oh wait, Spectre's Cowl has been nerfed to shit tier and never compensated. Back in Season 7, they just reduced its MR. Back in Season 6, they reduced its MR again. And back in Season 5, they reduced its MR. Well, no fucking shit. You've got a mage issue in top lane. Spectre's Cowl has been reduced from 40 MR to 25. I mean, you can really tell just how useless uh, MR is, especially on tanks, when the best champions in the game for anti-mage shit, Orn and Mundo, do better against physical damage than magical damage. Mundo is literally given 42% bonus MR, still sucks against mages, and still excels against physical damage. Like, let me ask you this, who is scarier as Mundo? Realistically, who's scarier? The Jax or literally any mage, Annie. You can't really do shit against her. Jaxo, you just kind of run up to him, face tank him, and he's like, oh fuck. Obviously Vayne, but Vayne is a top laner cosplaying as a bot laner who Riot keeps buffing because they're bad at bot lane, but they don't go bot lane, they go top lane. And the player base doesn't seem to be able to accept that. It reminds me of when Maokai started going top instead of jungle and he was super overpowered in top lane but he was still balanced in the jungle and everyone was like oh no don't nerf him he's only overpowered in top lane and it's like but he's overpowered in top lane so nerf him doesn't matter where he's supposed to go doesn't matter where he's designed to go you nerf him When ghosting goes wrong, how about Riot just nerfs Vayne, period? Because designing a champion and designing all five mechanics of Vayne to fuck over melee, and then saying, oh no, 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 but she goes in the ranged lane, is so stupid, I can't even understand it. Well, no shit. If you have to over buffer to fight range while every mechanic fucks over melee, well, gee, you know. Whoa, that lag. That lost me my scuttler.
Yeah, I mean, look at Vayne. Tumble. Is that useful against range? Not really. True damage. Percent health true damage. Yeah, that's clearly more useful against melee. Knock people back. If they hit a wall, you stun them. Yeah, once again, clearly more useful against melee. Every time you dash, you stealth. Okay, yeah, once again, way more useful against melee. Get bonus movement speed as you run at people. Yeah, once again, way more useful against melee. Gee, I wonder what champion types she'll be better against. Real mystery, that one. Can't seem to figure it out. I feel like stealth is any kind of play at all. No, not really. Especially on a ranged champion who can reposition while stealthing. I mean, yeah. Good fucking luck. Reminder that Spear of Sojin got removed before Rage Blade. Despite the fact that Rage Blade is a huge balance issue on many, many, many champions. Also remember that Rage Blade was literally designed as a bruiser item and just got co-opted by ranged champions. Then Riot nerfed it for melee and then never went back because reasons. What's wrong with Rage Blade? It sucks on melee. Like, ask yourself this question. Who has an easier time keeping Rage Blade up? Melee or range? Maybe if the duration lasted like four seconds on range, eight on melee, you know, something like that. But it's blatantly obvious it's gonna be better on range. I mean, range has to expend basically no effort on keeping it up in a fight. Melee can get peeled for a little bit and lose it, or just be kited and lose it, or not have the ability to auto attack the minion wave and lose it, you know? Now, how you low player ever picks Poppy anymore? Well, that sucks. You and I have very different definitions of sucking. You seem to think it means a bad thing. Apparently, in this context, sucking is a good thing. Poppy not being picked anymore is a good thing. Is he going for the scuttle? Yeah, he is. Yeah, Ride seems to do that. They pick one champion and they just keep buffing them and buffing them and buffing them and buffing them and buffing them. And, buffing them. and then they become a problem and then they go, no. And then five hours later they go, no. And then five months later they go, ah. And then a year later they go, ah, we might nerf them. That sounds like Jax to me. They literally removed an item from the game to nerf Jax. How at all does that sound like Jax to you, buddy? Uh, so right, Affic, I have a question. What the fuck is this shit? Is Aphelio supposed to go Chakram and then do 1500 damage? Because he went Chakram and then dealt 1500 damage. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't feel like an AD carry with one item is supposed to stand next to Mundo and do 1500 damage in the span of two seconds. That was such a big, big brain dive, I can't even. I can't even do shit, I can't even. I played that so smart. Looked at the map, saw no one was there. I feel like everything Aphelios does is overpowered. His range is too good. His damage is too good. It seems like no matter what he does, it's just too good. The only thing that seems even remotely balanced is his gravity gun. And even that, by mid game, a one second root can just kill you. That's the way that he, all he has does is complain. His chat blindly believes him. <laughs> I, yeah. Well, have fun finding a new stream, I guess. Yeah, season 10 patch notes. We're not nerfing mages. It's mage season part two. Riot will continue to make mages stronger until they are literally forced into every role, even against people's wishes. They're like, no, we want to play bruisers. And Riot's like, that's it. Rylize is cheaper now. And I have Spirit Visage, by the way. I'm supposed to be the anti-mage tank.
I, for one, am shocked that I didn't hit my cues on Cassidy. You realize that you play a tank with lots of damage and you complain about mages. Oh no, my pure melee champion with no gap closer wins in melee. Oh no, this is horrible. How could this happen to me? Atrox is so broken in the current meta, it's insane. Well, maybe you can find another stream where you can spam stupidity. I doubt it, but you know. Weird how a champion who hasn't been buffed in quite some time is now just insanely overpowered. Could it be people were just like, Cass is now the new mage everyone will call OP. Definitely not just overall mages being broken. No, no, just keep sacrificing one mage every patch. We'll keep calling that one the broken mage. After a year and a half, eventually we'll say, oh, now it's, checks the notes, uh, Cassidin who's OP. It's the items that make mages overpowered. I mean, yeah, really, it's a combination of two things. The lack of good MR options and the overabundance of good mage options.